Welcome back, everyone. This time I have Zomer joining me again. Yeah, I'll try not to leave this time, but you know, moms can be a hassle. <laughs> oh boy, ain't that the truth? Uh, so there's like also an HD texture pack that that gives like HD versions of the UI stuff in uh, Star Fox Assault. I didn't get it because I just felt it would be a bit of a hassle to find. So that's why the why you have the character models looking nice and clean, but then you just look down and you see the UI elements just look jaggedy and alias. Uh, also, you, I had to download. I had to download the GameCube and find. I had to track down and download the GameCube BIOS information BIOS. in order to get the fo proper font to display. What the fuck? That's some next level. Because because apparently the font that Star Fox uses I saw the is BIOS? like. They utilize yeah, the BIOS. That's insane. I had to find the BIOS in order to use the. Uh, fonts because apparently the font that Star Fox uses in particular is copyrighted so you need the actual GameCube BIOS You're they can't me. apparently apparently like the Dolphin developers can't replicate it you want to tell your Legally. audience what BIOS is sort of in a nutshell well I don't fully understand it myself but uh -huh. the BIOS is basically used to in my from what I understand, the BIOS is basically used to start up the computer, I believe. Yeah, it's like, think of it as, like, the, the Decide what get, what's get started up and how, yeah. essentially. It's like, it's, like it, it is, it's practically responsible for booting up your system. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a computer engineer, I'm just a programmer. Yeah, it's, think of it like, uh, as, like, it's like, um, how to explain it? Yeah, it basically, like, tells you how to wake up. So think of it, like, as... Yeah, how, as like how a, your computer turns on yeah, and does stuff, essentially. Pretty much. Like mainframe stuff almost. So I had to I had to track down the GameCube BIOS. Oh yeah, yeah. Just to get the font, because like otherwise the font that they used in place of it sometimes sticks out on the edges of the screen. So would you agree? Like it doesn't always fit. Would you agree that you like the ground missions more than the flying missions? It's too cool. Uh, I'm kind of off on. Like I don't really like the way the ground missions control, honestly. Well, actually, I'm lying. My favorite missions are when I'm on the wing of the R wing and I go ham. Yes, those are the best ones because like, they're like a I, spectacle. When I, yes, when I have they're my, a bit of a spectacle. When I have like my fucking what's it called again? Uh, pl plasma cannon. What's that weapon called again? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't actually remember it's the name of that cannon. weapon. It's something cannon, goddammit. it. It's plasma so this is the sure. second mission that made me chicken out on Star Fox Assault. <laughs> what the spiders got to you? Yes, I was a bit. Yes, they were. I my, mentioned yes. it in the last part. I was a bit of an insectophobe as a child. Yeah, well, the aperoid in the first one, it kind of gave me nightmare feel. But I was like, this is. You this. keep you keep cutting out. Like I don't know if it's your internet connection or if it's like your Discord settings. Probably my internet connection. Oh great. Well, it won't show. Well, your your voice will come up fine on the recording. Which is good. Yeah. So I, mm, as for like what I think of these ground missions, I kind of prefer the aerial missions more, right. honestly. But like I said, like, I, these are just best. kind of, these are just kind of, eh, I guess. I feel you. And right now, I'm there's like several control schemes that you can use for this. Uh, right now, I'm using the one that's most closest to the prime control scheme. Get the missile launcher, Emma. What are you doing? Aye, aye, aye. It's a cutscene. No, you got gotten it when he exploded because those guys dropped the Also, so Fox has tank controls. Yes, he does. In, so it's kind of a bit. It's a bit weird. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I'd be more used to it than I actually was. Landmaster! Oh god. Uh, stick, stick and also trying to trying to help your allies in Star Fox Assault with the Landmaster is a pain in the ass. Correct. I'll by, say, the way. Uh, by the way, stick to Big the Cat. Your, your, your Fox impression is god awful. It's absolute dog shit. Yeah, and also easy. You can tell this is easy mode because I barely take any damage despite being in direct contact with these things. Also, that hitbox is bullshit. Yeah, Landmaster. Oh lord. I'm this thing is unwieldy as fuck in this game. What? But it's pretty OP. I guess, but it's really unwieldy to use. And uh, see, now we yeah. gotta help Crystal. I think I spent like two minutes trying to help her. I swear to God, you better not let Waifu down. 
No, I say I I save everyone. So far from what I've recorded. How did you miss that? Also, that was bullshit. You clearly saw that missed. The garbage that kills for money. Really? Just it's get not my it. fault when the best thing to, best just get on top of the fucking ay ay ay. Just get on top. I'm trying. But no, this no. thing's so slow in no. the air. No, get no. Get next to it and get on top. Not that hard. Oh my mother. Hey, if only I could go back in time and and and, and like Batman slap you. Dude, like this thing is just like get on top. All you have to do is just literally get on top right there, and then you're set. There we go. Got it. No. No, she's fine. I know. Also, fun fact about Star Fox Assault is that your and your allies will get into trouble at the same time every time each mission. Correct. It's not random. Also correct. It might seem like it's random. Now you it's decide not. to do it's this. It's the same time. If you go to the location where they're going to be in trouble, they will always be in trouble. At the same time, every time. Yeah. Unlike in Star Fox 64, because in Star Fox 64, apparently it's kind of randomized. Supposedly. I I, I haven't ch tested it myself. Here it's actually go. been a while since I played Star Fox 64. Yep, here we go. Ah, these fucks. And these are the th reason why I actually kind of am eh about the ground missions. Because I think every single ground mission has some version of these things. Oh yeah, they gotta reproduce. That just spawn enemies. They gotta reproduce somehow. And it's even more annoying in like the later missions where like... You are trying to prevent the number of enemies from going too high. Yeah. Oh yeah, those. When you're in the R-Wing. Not just in the R-Wing, when you're on the ground too. Yes, like you just you have to stop. You have to destroy all the targets before like you get overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah, essentially. yeah. Especially when Those you're on uh, uh, Ricky's planet. What was the name again? Fuck. Yeah, Ricky. Ricky's I think you got the name right. Yeah, Ricky's planet. My man's hilarious. Yeah, who, he's he's my. He's a character. He's a character from the Star Fox Adventures game. Yeah, he's the biggest. Besides me, he's the biggest shipper of Crystal and Fox. <laughs> I think everybody kind of shipped the characters together. They just kind of. Nintendo is definitely forcing the ship, essentially. Yes. Even right from when they first. It's a, it's a good. It's a good for, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good force. God damn it, Slippy! You, you this bum. guy's like a meme. This guy is a meme. Hey, he's a, he's a, he's a wholesome meme though. He tries. Yeah, he tries, but he fucks up a lot. Hey, he still he tries. I have no idea if that hit. Wait, did that hit? Yes. Wow, I wasn't even looking at it, and it hit. <laughs> well, yeah, it doesn't matter. It'll still hit if it wants to. You have to get off the thing. Now and go the inside. Titan. Yeah, yep, you have to I just get, get off of it to go inside. When I was little, this took me a while to realize. Actually, I think I was about 13 years old when I actually started. Like, when I actually beat the game, uh, I started at like when I was like nine or ten, and then took me till I was 13 years old to wow, actually you, you look up the These things dude. look scary, look far scarier on a CRT. Yes. Like now correct. I can just see they're like a collection of polygons, yeah. but like as a kid these look terrifying. Nightmare feel, I told you. Yeah, like a lot of things when you're younger look, look you remember them as being far more high res than they actually were. <laughs> Cause like I remember the Aperoids being significantly more detailed, but then and like I, I come back to the game years later and go like, God, this looks ugly. Some parts of this looks ugly. <laughs> like the environments look nice, but the the enemies themselves just look like <laughs> look ugly as sin. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Falco, just down here the enemies. <laughs> yeah, Falco, you're more useful outside of. Outside of the cockpit than inside. You just can't fly for shit. Also, but. I find it really odd that... Okay, I get that it's kind of Star Fox tradition, but you don't really have the option to play any other characters. Correct. I find that odd. Not besides multiplayer. Yeah, I, I mean outside of multiplayer, uh, yeah. of course. Because in Star Fox uh, Command, you can actually play as other characters, and each ship has different stats. Yep. And oh, quality loady. Which makes them different. It's like one of the good things about the game. Like one of the genuinely good things about the game. Mm. Uh, and we have Pancake, aka Crab, aka what the fuck is this boss? Okay, so it is. So this is the boss. So this is the boss you're talking about, Pancake boss. 
Yeah, <laughs> I mentioned I yesterday, pancake I boss. Didn't, I didn't. I didn't realize a pancake is fucking. I never realized the thing has a face. I didn't realize pancake could be an Eldritch abomination. I didn't know pancake had a face. This is the first time I ever realized this thing had a face. Well, probably because like you're now viewing it on like a much better screen <laughs> compared yeah. to like when you probably last played the game. What the fuck? This thing has a face. Hey, yeah, but um. Amazing what you can notice when the game is really high res. Yeah, I was like, wait, 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 what? But um, what was I gonna say? Um, just get on top and fuck it up. I'm going to. Just get. I have to knock it down first. Like that. We can. Here, bum. What? Nah, I just like to say that. <laughs> it's got. I. I don't have much control. Is that things? This thing's a scent function. It takes forever. And now I have to ascend again, otherwise it'll just damage me. And no, now you, we have to repeat the process. No, no, you can stay on, actually. I'm trying to, but then that happened. You're a bomb. So, oops. Well, I think that thing just stepped on me. Correct. <laughs> Step on me, senpai. <laughs> okay, Fox. Uh, nice to know the targeting system. For the transporter is as impeccable as ever. Well, they want to make sure that you're still being challenged. This is actually, I actually really like that joke that Fox made at the beginning of this mission. Yeah, he understands. It's a fourth wall breaking, my man. Yeah, nice to see it's as impeccable as ever. But I, but I also like that even in the mission, it's impeccable. Okay. Now this this I this actually really makes me wish that we had the Star Fox Zero tank Landmaster because mm. that one I, was actually pretty awesome. Yep. And there was like a gravity function later on so that it could actually sort of fly. <laughs> but ipso facto, dead pancake. Fox, get that core memory. Crab, whatever you want to call this abomination. I was gonna say, when do pancakes have legs, bro? <laughs> They don't? What? Is that a question? I don't know what I've been eating then in that case. <laughs> yeah, if there's no if there's nothing uploaded in Pygmy's the next week, you know fuck. what happened to me. Pigma Oh yeah, Pigma, aka Fox the you guy. You have who a missile Fox's launcher dad. in your inventory, Fox, shoot him out the fucking air. <laughs> <laughs> if Fox <laughs> if Star Fox characters remembered that they had guns. Like, there's, a, there's like three other people. They could shoot him down, like, now. Like, just charge up a shot blast and then just fire. Look at his, look at, look at the, did you see that, uh, did you see that anime waifu character looking thing on a ship? Yes, I was actually going to comment what on that, the like, fuck? the pig, like, the pig, the sexy pig decal. What the fuck? Just, oh, you had I didn't a, need this, to see that. My man has... You have a missile launcher in your inventory. You can't just shoot him down. You have a high, like, Not even that. He has three uh, allies. All three... Where the fuck were they? And to top it all off, he has the Landmaster. Just get back in the Landmaster. Aim up. Fire. There you go. I fix your problem, Fox. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next... Uh, insanity of how we get Pigma to, to eat his own pork. See you but guys. first, Star Wolf. <laughs> yes, that's true, Star Wolf. All right, see you guys. Bye.